So how to work with clairsentience? Now, this is one of the questions that comes up a lot of time. People really want to work with clairsentience to be able to receive that information from the spirit world in such a way that they can feel what the, what, what the information is. So it's using the senses of feeling. So imagine this, we get a connection with the spirit world. We're moving our energy up and back to connect with the spirit world. And then we just feel what feelings come in from the spirit world. And as we do that, it's learning to feel, what do I feel? Do I feel the relationship? Hello and welcome. It's nice to have you with me. So do I feel the relationship? You feel. Do you, do you feel... Was it a close relationship? It's all in the feelings. So within the feelings inside of you, the emotions, you can feel, was it a close relationship? Was it a not so close relationship? Was it a distant relationship? That's what you can all gauge with the feelings of clairsentience. But did you know that clairsentience is not just feeling with inside of yourself, that you can actually feel a metal watch on your hand that the spirit world put there so that you could feel it and know that that is what they used to they left they left behind did you know that you could feel the rings on your fingers so the that's more objective feeling sometimes we feel the spirit world objective like they're standing right behind us and we can feel the presence of them that's all objective but when we're going within so objective is out of side of yourself but when we're going within with our inner feelings we can feel the personality. We can feel what sort of person it was. What was what was the what did they love to do? What were their things? Um, any all these sort of things that we can feel. We can feel their job. Um, and when you say how how do you feel a job? Well, you can actually feel from the spirit world. They can move you and let you feel that your hands are holding the tools that they used to hold when they were working. So it's like you can suddenly feel, oh, you must have worked with bricks and mortar. You must have worked on a building site. You must have worked in an office. All these feelings, you can feel them in your fingers. Right? Sometimes we can feel with the information coming through from the spirit world, we feel, I know this person worked with the hands because you can feel the hands. Um, but then you've got to feel, what do I feel within their hands? So you may feel within their hands wood, or you may feel metal, or you may feel something very delicate that they did. So it may have been microchips to a computer. Their feelings can lead on to more. So when you say, I feel that somebody worked with the hands, it can lead on to, I feel wood, I feel metal, I feel bricks, I feel those little components that are in the computer. In that way, you can follow the feelings to more information. So we can start off with, like, if we feel a watch, which is on our, on our wrist, does it feel like it's a leather strap? Or does it feel like it's metal? Does it, what does it feel like? What can it be? And that feeling can even suddenly work from the feelings and go, like, into suddenly a picture. And that picture might be, oh, I see that it's a silver colored metal watch and it's got a white face. And in that way, it can open up the rings. You may feel the wedding ring on the wedding finger. You may feel like an engagement ring next to it. So you may feel two rings. And so these two rings, when you feel into them, it may be the spirit world saying, and we left them behind with the person that you are, that that's, you're communicating for, so the recipient. So the feelings can be inside of yourself, but also feel like the clothes that you're wearing, when the spirit world join with you, you may be feeling that you're feeling like the clothes they're wearing. So you may feel they, they wore a suit and you can feel the tie and you can feel the tie pin. And this is what happens when clairsentience goes to the next level. You feel the quality of the, of the clothes. You know it was Italian quality, Italian suit, Italian style, that sort of thing. You can feel within the clothing that they present to you. So that's what, what can happen with clairsentience. But we can feel if we were to study 
the, the human body, we could feel whatever organ there is. So hello and welcome, everybody. So but if we, if we could feel within the human body what was going on, so we could feel the lungs. So with lungs would be about here. We might feel the heart here, uh, which is normally, so okay, I can feel the heart. Uh, you may feel, oh, I feel the kidneys. I feel the stomach. I feel the large intestines. I feel the, the so in that way, we're learning to feel what what sort of ailments somebody would have in their mediumship. So clairsentience can tell us a lot about did they have mobility problems? Sometimes you can feel pain in your legs and your hips and know that it's from the spirit world telling you they had problems walking and they had problems with their hips and their knees. In that way, the clairsentience can bring us a lot of information, also about how people felt and how people's personality was and whether they were vibrant, whether, whether they loved standing in front of talking in front of people or whether they were really quiet and they loved just to have their own space and like to observe people. So clairsentience can bring us the depth and the richness in mediumship. So it's learning to move with that depth and, and richness. So I've just read the question here. Do you get physical ailments from spirit? I feel like this might be starting. Yes, I do get physical ailments from spirit. I was just explaining that. I used to work in nursing so i have a good uh, idea of the autonomy of the body so i know where the lungs are and how they feel you can feel so you can start to feel these different places in the body where certain problems were and it may be the what the things that happened that took them to the spirit world so you may get heart condition when you feel into that heart condition you may feel that this person had to have an operation, that the aorta was, was worked on, all that sort of thing to make it bigger. There are many things that the spirit world can let you feel if you have a knowledge of it. So clairsentience, if you really want to open your clairsentience up to more, go out and experience. Go out and go out into your life and experience life. How do you feel in the supermarket? How do you feel connecting to that one friend? How do you feel in a certain place? So that when you, like, let's say if you everyone walks into a church, everyone, when somebody walks into a church, they have their own experience. So in real life, when you walk into a church, you may feel, oh, I don't like it here, it's a church. Or you may walk into the church and feel, oh, I just feel the, the resonance of energy here. I like this feeling. And so that feeling of a church will stay in your repertoire of feeling. So whenever you bring someone through from the spirit world, you'll remember that feeling and you'll be like, ah, I feel that um, she loved to go to church because I feel that she was in the church. I feel that that was important to her. This information can only come if you start to walk around your daily life and experience life and feel it, feel what it feels like. Like when you're tasting something wonderful in a, in a wonderful Italian restaurant how does it feel how does it taste what are you sensing all these things you can use within your mediumship so it's knowing yourself how you can expand on your clairsentience so how do you work with clairsentience it's just it's a you know I've got a feeling it's just the start it's where does that feeling take you so you may have a feeling of I feel that I, sh I feel like I enjoy traveling, right? And so when you feel the excitement of the spirit world enjoying traveling, so when you're connected to spirit and they give you enjoying traveling, then you feel, where do you feel they'll take you with that feeling? And they may take you with that feeling to Italy. They may take you to Greece. They may take you to France. They may take you to different places. And that's the thing, you see, you've got to follow the feelings to wherever they take you. So when we look at this, feelings can bring you a lot more information. Clairsentience can bring you a lot more information than it's bringing you at the moment. So if you're in your development groups or you can join, join a class that takes you to the next level in, in this uh, clairsentience or in your mediumship, that you're not just getting, I feel it's a father figure, well, how does a father feel to you? So it's really working on it. How does a father feel to you? How does a father figure feel to you? How does a grandfather feel to you? All these different feelings are your repertoire of what it feels. 
you will get the relationships right once you get the feelings sorted out in your daily life. So I encourage you this week to go out and go into different places, go into different buildings. If they're old buildings, try and feel what has taken place in these old buildings. Some of the things I used to do with some of my friends is go into an old castle and you get these little booklets that you can read what happened in every room. We didn't read any of that. We would go into the rooms and pick up on the feelings of what was going on. And one moment we walked into a room and all of a sudden, I don't know why, I'm starting to feel that I've had a few drinks here. It feels a bit tipsy here. And I wasn't the only one. Two of my other friends felt the same thing. And then we read the booklet and what was on the booklet that used to be the room where the soldiers used to drink. And so this is how you can understand what is going on in buildings and how can you open your clairsentience to more. When we're working with the spirit world, everything that we feel in life, they can use. So don't just be that feeling. Follow that feeling for more and know it can move to objects like watches. It can be the rings that you feel on your fingers. It can be a hat on your head. It can be the type of clothes that you wear, or it could even be a trip to Italy. That is what you feel. So I'm wishing you all the best with your journey and look forward to seeing you again soon. If not, watch this next video because I'll be talking more about mediumship. Thank you. Give me a like if you're enjoying this and join the channel.